All right, so here's what I was thinking. Something like that, took a plasma cutter and uh, notched out a hole for the motor to kick forward more. And I just left the original plate. I'm not getting uh, crazy with fabricating a bunch of stuff yet. I wanna see if it will work. So basically I set it up so that I can just put it right back to what it was if it does not work. But uh, we just have it, the motor clamped to the original plate and kick forward. And I play with the tracking a little bit. However you pitch the motor is how that belt wants to align. And uh, I did have a little bit of a problem when I would put a load on it, it kicked it off. But I think I pretty much got it. That speed's probably about a third of what it was. Ideally, it should actually probably run even slower than that. If I was to guess, that's running at 1750. And I would say the circumference of that's got to be a third of that, maybe even closer to a quarter. So, figure 17.50 in half and half again. And I'm going to guess around 700 RPM, something like that. But it's got the snot. And if it goes to jam, the belt just spins. You could jam it. Just spins the belt. So this is pretty polished right here, and again, this, this being the drive one, I would just probably take this sucker off and stick it in the sandblaster and uh, kind of etch up that surface, give it a little bit more tooth. But you want it to slip somewhere. It's got to fail. Somehow, some way, it needs to be able to either throw off a belt or kick something out, you know, in case it ever did jam up. Something gets stuffed in there. Either that or breaks the blade, you know. So I think it's going to work. I'm going to order a belt, uh, a blade rather, and uh, I'll pop it on a metal blade, and if that uh, works well with sticking some metal underneath there and slicing and dicing. So be it. I will uh, have my setup that I'm looking for. Alright guys, again, thanks for watching, commenting, subscribing. Take care.